Well, pro sports teams have had to get creative to fill the stands during the pandemic. MLB and uh, the NFL have both been using cardboard cutouts. Yesterday's Broncos game featured more than 1,800 South Park characters, plus thousands of real life fans. And while other leagues go low tech, NBA is harnessing technology like never before. Yes, KPIX 5 Sharon Chin shows us the Orlando bubble is a whole new ball game. And you getting back into the thick of things the way Woj was just describing, setting the table for next year. Jake Glenn could not wait to watch the NBA playoffs. I'm one of the biggest NBA fans on me. I absolutely love it. The college student is glued to the games held in quarantine in Orlando with no fans in the stands. Here we go. Well, I'm just really impressed with what the NBA has kind of done with their virtual fan experience. It's not the same. No roaring crowds in a packed arena, but the NBA spent months developing an alternative. We're so lucky to have great fans in our league. Sarah uh, Zuckert, we, head of Next Gen Telecast. We have been working, you know, closely on trying to replicate the home court feel as much as is possible. The NBA app offers live games and updates and cameras rolling on railings on the sidelines catch the action from new angles for those watching through NBA TV, League Pass, and ESPN. It's another option for fans to really see the game and feel the game in a different way. And fans can win the chance to get their photos and videos seen on social media and on giant screens in the arena. So fans appear as if they're in virtual seats, and those fans are live watching at home. And to mimic applause, there's tap to cheer. Go Bucks. This is me cheering for the Bucks. It's not the full on hollering at a basketball player, but it's pretty cool to be able to get out there and actually do something kind of interactive with the game. When fans tap in the NBA app or tweet with the team's hashtag, players like Dallas Mavericks point guard Delon Wright can look up at the huge screens. They can see the total number cheering and virtual fans dressed in their team's colors. It is cool to see fans' faces uh, on the on the on the screen, and uh, it's, it's a little it's, it's better than uh, just being in the gym by ourselves. It's a very weird dynamic. Still, LeBron James says he misses feeding off his Laker fans' frenzy. You have to really love basketball to be here because there's no extra motivation, you know, as far as that you get or the excitement from the crowd. So to the fans? I miss you guys, and I hope that someday we can get back to that interaction. Go box, go box. And many fans agree that would be something to cheer about. Sharon Chin, KPIX 5.